What's going on, y'all? I'm looking for a person that I'm pretty sure everyone knows if you've been watching the news or particularly the Black Lives Matter uh, movement. I'm trying to find Sean King. Has anybody seen Sean King lately? Uh, if you have, please let him know I'm looking for him. I would love to talk to this gentleman because, uh, once again, tragedy uh, has struck and has affected uh, the lives of, of people in this country uh, regarding the recent shooting in Roanoke, Virginia of two white news reporters um, who have been shot to death by a black former uh, newscast uh, individual and I'm not going to name the person's name uh, but if you've been watching the news you definitely know uh, who the individual uh, was who killed uh, these two uh, newscasts for no reason. It wasn't for self-defense, it was not for uh, any type of uh, life-threatening of someone trying to take another person's life and so they were you know trying to stop this assailant. No, no, no. This person uh, calculated, premeditatively sought to kill these two people and used uh, the situation in Charleston, South Carolina uh, to do that. And you know that's that's sad because this is what I've been saying to people, and particularly uh, the black church. Uh, and when I say black church, I don't want I don't want my white brothers to be offended, but uh, but please hear my heart uh, on this because this Black Lives Matter movement uh, is really sickening to my stomach. I, I don't understand how any Christian uh, that has any sense uh, of of right and wrong would align themselves with a movement whose expressed sole purpose is to protect, quote unquote, uh, the lives of only black people, as if all lives don't matter. And I'm glad that, you, that some of you are getting sick of hearing that term, all lives matter, because according to scripture, all lives do matter. And so my, my, my question, my concern is, is where is where's Sean King? Why he hasn't, you know, stuck his head out and tweeted and and made these uh, these statements, you know, trying to uh, call for justice of this black dude that who killed these two white people and injured another uh, white lady, all because he has hatred in his heart. This this shooter, I, I see a lot of hypocrisy. I see a lot of imbalance. So you mean to tell me now all of a sudden uh, the news does not want to pick up on this story, and when they do pick up on this story, they just gloss over it. You don't hear anybody talking about racial issues now. You don't hear anybody talking about racism or what about our white brothers and sisters? What about white people in general? How should they feel? How should they feel, and I know a lot of white people, that really want to say what I'm saying, but if they say it, you black folk want to call them a racist. You need to repent. And you need to chill with that foolishness. Because anytime a person's life is needlessly taken, it should bother all of us, especially those of us who are Christians. Where was the Black Lives Matter movement uh, this past Saturday when uh, Christians and even those who are not Christians uh, were protesting and standing outside of Planned Parenthood and a lot of our Christian brothers and sisters was preaching in the gospel? Where was, where was Sean King, who was a professing Christian, who was a professing believer, who used to be a pastor? Thank God he's not anymore. Where, where was the Black Lives Matter movement for those people? And for those who are standing in and fighting against Planned Parenthood, who, who murders millions of babies and thousands upon thousands of our black babies. Where, where is the Black Lives Matter movement for them? Where is the Black Lives Matter movement? Oh, here it goes. Where is the Black Lives Matter movement for those who are getting killed in our own streets, in the hood, upon black on black crime? Where, where, where are you? Where are you at, Sean? Where you at, D. Ray McKen uh, McKesson, whatever your name is? Where, where are you? I don't hear anybody. Where's the Black Lives Matter movement went in these areas that really is, are snuffing out our black communities? And again, as I said in another video, I'm not talking about police brutality because police brutality pales, and I mean pales in comparison to the onslaught and on the murders and the needless deaths of our own people, whether they are in the womb or on the street. And for Christians to align themselves up with a movement that has no biblical basis for what they do, 
I question whether or not your loyalty is really to the gospel or is your loyal loyalty only to the pigmentation of your skin color. You know, when I read my Bible, my Bible tells me in James chapter 2, verse 1, that we are not to hold the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that has been given to us with an attitude of personal favoritism. There, there are no favorites in God's kingdom. We're all one in Christ Jesus. When there's crime, when there's mayhem in the world, we should grieve. We should, we should speak out on any kind of injustice. But I find an imbalance with the Black Lives Matter movement. I find an imbalance with a lot of black people. A lot of uh, CHH or Christian hip-hop artists. Where, where are you also? You know, when, when Michael Brown was killed, you had people in the body of Christ, black churches and black Christians, basically talking about injustice and, and even talking about hands up, don't shoot, and all this other kind of foolishness. But where are you at now when two white people have been gunned down, have been slaughtered on live television? Why you aren't saying anything about that? Why aren't you coming alongside our white brothers and sisters and letting them know that, listen, that foolishness we don't condone. That foolishness we understand and we grieve right along with you. Why you're not saying anything about that? Why aren't you talking about that in your, in your songs? Christian artists, where are you? Why is it different when Pookie gets shot by Officer Bill but when Pookie kills Bill, or when Pookie kills another white person, oh, we want to look at Pookie's history and say, well, because Pookie grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. You know what? I was born and raised in Detroit. I was born and raised in Detroit, and my mother never had to worry about me being shot or me being beat down by the police. She had to worry. My dad had to worry whether or not I would be caught in a school shooting or be caught being shot or in a drive-by uh, just playing outside. They had to worry about me being taken out by another black person more than they would ever be worried about me being taken out at the hands of a cop. When I get in my car, when I drive, I don't worry about the police because I'm not doing anything that would cause me to worry. See, that's when you know you have a clear conscience before God and before others. A police officer can pull me over at any time and I am going to obey the law. But it's unfortunate that these people die at the hands of a black man. And most black people, you black people don't say nothing about it. And those who do, we're called the sellouts. And if you've been following me and been knowing me long enough, you know I can care less about that. Because I'm going to say what needs to be said. As Christians, we are to be different from the world. Well, what about injustice? What, what about injustice? We speak out on all kinds of injustice. But if you're going to speak out about Black Lives Matter, you better be speaking about those black babies' lives mattering and those black people's lives mattering on the streets of Chicago, the streets of Detroit, the streets of L.A., the streets of New York, and all other urban and, 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 and cities and rural areas that are prevalent in violence. So don't give me this nonsense about you care about your people when you don't speak up for all people. Those who are defenseless, we should be speaking out louder on their behalf. And that's where the hypocrisy comes. The hypocrisy comes when I see a lot of you black Christians, a lot of you black folk, want to have a lopsided, one-sided view of injustice. But you don't care about those that are being slaughtered or those that are being killed and murdered, even in your own communities or even with people with a different skin color than you. All of us are made in the image of God. We all come from one man, and that is Adam. Read your Bible. Enough of the foolishness, people. Two lives have been lost. And, and for those of you who think this stuff is a hoax, well, you're going to have to now prove to everybody that you think this is a hoax. And really the only person who's looking foolish is you. Two people are dead. And of course, we should be Bereans. We should be careful about what we believe. But, I mean, come on, y'all. Two people have lost their lives. Needlessly. One injured. The shooter killed himself. Now, I don't know the eternal state of any of these people. Um, it's sad and it's tragic. But I hope that we all remember and understand that tomorrow is not promised to any of us. And that we, as human beings, we're going to stand and give an account before God one day. 
Either you're going to stand and give an account before God, standing in the righteousness of his grace found in Jesus Christ alone, or you're going to stand in your own righteousness. And that won't win you a ticket to heaven. That will win you a ticket straight to hell. And so we need to value life, all life, and preach the gospel to all lives because all lives matter, according to my Bible, according to Scripture. Christ died for all kinds of people, black, white, rich, poor, young, old, male, female. He died. Christ died for all kinds of people. And we should be preaching the gospel to all kinds of people, loving all kinds of people, because Christ himself loved us. Again, if you want to reach out to me, you can do so by emailing me, SeikoWoods at Yahoo.com, S-A-I-K-O, Woods with an S at Yahoo.com, or you want to hit me up and follow me on Facebook or Twitter, Facebook.com forward slash Seiko, S-A-I-K-O, Woods, or S-A-I-K-O dot Woods on Facebook, or on Twitter, Twitter.com forward slash Seiko, Woods, no period in between the first and last name. God bless you. Until I see you again, take care.